Hey everyone, time for another thoughts video and after getting some time to play some of my backlog, I decided to play Luigi's Mansion 3. And as always, be sure to leave a like on the video as that really helps out the channel. And let's get down to the skinny of this fun game that you could play for Halloween, but unfortunately it seems ditching the haunted house locations for a haunted hotel with gimmicks does make the game lose some of its spook factor like the predecessors had. Though the plot is somewhat similar to the first two Luigi's Mansion games, Luigi, his pet ghost dog, Polterpup, his brother Mario, Peach, and some toads receive an invitation to luxury hotel of the last resort they decide to stay for a vacation peach and mario are talking the toads are playing catch and luigi is sleeping with polterpup luigi awakens and finds out that this was all trapped set up by the thirsty as hell simp of an owner helen gravely she lured the group to the hotel as part of a trap to get in good with king boo king boo wants to end his losing streak with luigi now by trapping him alongside with everyone else in a painting this time luigi is forced to flee to avoid the same fate and narrowly escapes to the basement by using a laundry chute with the help of his flashlight and polterpup he makes it to the basement and finds a new model of the poltergust and after finding out in the lobby about egad being captured as well he goes on an adventure to free mario and the others and stop king boo once and for all this time luigi will battle ghosts in different themed areas in the hotel i like some for example the magic stage dance club and apparent museum area of the hotel with giant dinosaur included i hated the basement levels especially the duck boat sections i don't know what it was but i could not control that damn thing even the boss fight with the ghost plumber got on my nerves because I kept dying. Also, Luigi's tricks from his previous adventures return to form, like the flashlight with its ability to stun ghosts for sucking, and the dark bulb, which allows him to see hidden items like chests and doors. He also has a partner, Luigi, which Luigi can take control of and use him in various ways, like solving puzzles or using him as a distraction for enemies and bosses. I used him like that a lot when I found out that they would attack Luigi first. Now, should you give it a try? Yeah, it's a fun adventure for any fan of Luigi who would love to own. The only downsides to the game are the duck boat controls though that just might be me and the length. Luigi's Mansion 3 isn't very long. You can beat the game in about 9 to 10 hours casually though it is a little fun adventure with Luigi, the scaredy cat hero who stands tall even though he is scared. Before I end the video, I want to talk about Helen Gravely, who was the definition of a simp. She was doing everything to gain the affection of King Boo, but all he cared about was Luigi. Like, she even had Photoshop paintings of her and King Boo all over her suite. Old girl really wanted that booty, but she was never going to get any. Mainly because she was actually a fugly ghost who wore makeup. A small victory for her, though, is that she's next to King Boo in the ghost catalog if you view them. And at the end of it all, if you love Luigi and want some action adventure goodness in a haunted hotel, they give Luigi's Mansion 3 a run, and you'll have a laugh or two at Luigi's expense. That should do it for me. See you guys next time. If you like what you see or hear, why not subscribe? <laughs>